Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Elden Ring. And in this one, I want to put together a quick guide on how to get an unlimited supply of Ghost Glove Wart and Grave Glove Wart. These are the items you need to upgrade your Spirit Summons, so if you want to make them more potent, you are definitely going to be wanting these items. So if you guys do enjoy this, you do find it helpful, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, be sure to keep it locked for plenty more Elden Ring. So to begin with, we'll be starting off with the Ghost Glove Wart, which is the item you need to strengthen your renowned ashes, i.e. things like the Mimic Summon, other things like that. For this, we'll be going over to the Nokron Eternal City. Now, I have done a couple of videos recently speaking about other things you can get in Nokron, and I've gone through how to access that. If you have not got to Nokron yet, I will link the Moonlight Greatsword video in the description box down below. Super top level, you do need to have defeated the Rune Boss Radan in the bottom right-hand corner of Kaelid. That, of course, is a mandatory story boss, and in in doing so, it allows you to venture underground to knock on the Eternal City. If you want a guide on how to get there, again, check out that video because I give you a complete walkthrough. But assuming you have access to this location, you can then fast travel to Nokron the Eternal City. And from there, you want to walk out the front door and simply in the courtyard in front of you, there is a small structure. There is a dead body on the left with a purple collectible. If you pick that up, that is the Ghost Glove Walk Picker's Bell bearing one, which of course, much like if you've seen the Smithing Shard video that we did, then you will know that if you take this to the Twin Husks at the Round Table Hold, they will allow you to purchase those items. However, before we return, we're then going to go and get the second bell bearing because this allows us to buy even more. Assuming again you have ventured through Nokron, and of course you've then ventured further over to the west to Noxtella, the Eternal City, you will again want to fast travel to this location. And in doing so, what you then want to do is follow the route that I'm taking right now. We'll be running forwards and we're then going to be taking the staircase up on the left. There is of course an enemy there and there are some slimes, you can of course work your way past them. But once you've then gone up these stairs, you then want to take a left, you can of course bypass all these slimes and there'll be a small doorway for you to go through. There's a lot of enemies in here, but if you don't want to fight them, you can just go and open the chest. Doing so will give you a bit of invulnerability. Then of course, just make sure you roll before you then try and pick up the item. But picking up that item is then going to give you the Ghost Glove Wart Picker's Bell Bearing number two. So if you then take these and return to Round Table Hold and hand both of these in, you will then be able to purchase Ghost Glove Warts one, two, three, four, five, and six, which will allow you to take your Spirit Summons up to plus six. Now, of course, there are more of these in the game, but they are much later in the sort of end game region. I will do a follow up video going over some of those later on. But to begin with, at least give you guys the ability to upgrade your summons so far, this will get you started. However, turn attention to the other option are the Grave Glove Warts, which are the ones used to strengthen your regular ashes, things like the Godric Soldiers, other stuff like that. For this one, you're going to need to have access to the third location, the Atlas Plateau. So, of course, this will actually require a little bit further story progress. We're going to be going over to the Wyndham Catacombs. So, of course, if you go over to the Wyndham Ruins, which is where you'll find one of the Tibia Mariners, and you then go up the stairs towards the back, you will then find an entrance, open that door, and you go into the Catacombs. Simple process. You just need to work your way through this dungeon and get to the boss. It follows the same sort of formula as the other ones. You need to get to the end, pull a lever, which will then activate the door, which you can then return to, go in, fight the boss. And upon defeating the boss, you will then be given the glove wart picker's bell bearing number one which again we can then return to the twin husks and upon handing that in that allow you to purchase items number one two and three now much like the other ones there are of course other bell bearings but they too are in much later parts of the game so for the purposes of this video i'm going to keep it on these ones i will of course do a follow-up one on the remaining bell bearings you'll need later on but depending of course where you are in the game this should at least give you a start on upgrading your spirit summons and giving you an unlimited supply provided of course you have runes so hopefully you guys found it helpful. Again, any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And if you have not unlocked the ability to upgrade your spirit summons, be sure to click on this video, which shows you exactly how to do that.